I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of the exercise is to test your instincts. I call it Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll the dice to see which seat we would be in for this exercise. I rolled a seven. That would be non-dealer. Player three. So we'll get 13 tiles and then I will create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, let's take a photo of this starting lineup because we're going to recreate it. We're going to make decisions with this first go round and then we'll pick another way to go and see which is the best choice for these tiles. So here we have a single red, a single bam, a bunch of dots, including a pair of nines four, six, and a seven. I'm thinking we could do either big odds with five, seven, nine, leveraging these pairs, or five, six, seven, eight, consecutive run. I always keep flowers. So let's get rid of these tiles here. Maybe we could use that red dragon. Let's discard these three, one of each suit. So let's take a photo of this because we're going to recreate it. See if maybe a one suit option would come in better. Here we have an eight and a nine and we have tiles we can pass. Now we could maybe play something consecutive with the dragon here, six, seven dragon or seven, eight dragon. We could also do six, seven, eight, nine. Let's give up this nine. I'm thinking we're kind of between big odds, five, seven, nine, or consecutive run, six, seven, eight, nine. There are sixes, five, six, nine. Here's a nine. All right. So here we have six, nine, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, six, nine, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Let's focus here. That would leverage two multiples. Sometimes you can't use them all. We're going to build around the most of them. So let's break this up. I really don't like passing like numbers though. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's give up the dragon. That way we don't have to pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. Okay, we're gonna take a photo of this. I wonder if we could play that nine, nine, eight pair hand because we keep getting sevens and nines. Let's just put it in order. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we can do seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. I still like the idea of building around multiples, five, six, seven, eight. Let's pass these three. Take a photo. 
Okay, this red keeps coming back. Here's three, five, nine. That's a little risky. Five, six, seven, eight. We really don't need that nine. We can break up all one suit with a crack. Let's take a photo. Here's a seven, six, seven, five, seven, seven. Lots of seven, eight, nines. Five, six, seven, eight is still the strongest. And we have tiles we can pass. No keepers here. Oh, we got the red and the nine back. And a discard there. Seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight. I think we could probably discard those two. I would say we're in between. You know what we could do? Maybe even five, seven, nine reds, the concealed hand under the odd category. I would keep all these. We're in between five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. There's six tiles for that. Or we could do five, seven, nine dragon. There would be seven tiles for that. Or we could do seven, eight dragon. And there's six for that. So really, this one concealed five, seven, nine dragon is the strongest. I would start by discarding these because we didn't even touch them. Hold these to see what comes in and then just respond pick by pick. I know there's a five crack in there and there were a lot of seven, eight, nine. Let's redo this and see if that pear hand comes in. The pear hand I'm talking about is the second from the bottom under nine, nine, eight. Consecutive run seven, eight, nine seemed to be a recurring pattern through the Charleston tiles. And whenever you see patterns like that, you can change your hand with a really good result. So let's see what happens. That's what we started with. And we were thinking, Maybe the 998 pair hand, even though we'd have to throw away a joker. But let's see what happens. Let's give all that up and see. Maybe keep the five for big odd potential. Five, seven, nine. Throw these. If we do one of each suit, let's do that. I'm going to recreate the Charleston now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna discard these. Okay, there's a nine and an eight. Nine, nine, eight pair hand, maybe. We have tiles we can pass. A little risky, two, three. There's a seven and a nine. We have a pair of reds now. Maybe, wow, what about like numbers with nines? That way we can use the joker right there. Like numbers with nines. That would be the first hand under like numbers. I think that's better than 998 because then we can use the joker. Let's discard these three. There's a red and we have tiles we can pass. Okay, no keepers here. And we are down to passing like numbers, but I would not break this up. I would keep going. Pass like numbers and risk it. There are times when that's okay. There's a nine and we have tiles we can pass. Whoa, look at that. Pair, pair of sixes, yikes. I would hold that for joker bait. 
I'll leave a link below the video to that video, a uh, video on joker bait, because we could maybe get jokers out of this. If someone makes an exposure with a joker and a six dot, we could use these to get the jokers. But here we can Kong, 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 pair. We're ready to rock and roll on every bit of that hand, like numbers. I think the 998 pair hand could have worked, but we would have had to throw this away. But I think that consecutive run, here's a pair of sixes even, uh, six, seven, eight, nine we tried, nine, nine, eight, and then like numbers with nines. All those I think would have been great for these tiles, but this one, that is a really good result. Like numbers with nines and dragons. Wow, that like number option took me by surprise. It's amazing how you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. I think consecutive run with six, seven, eight, nine, the nine, nine, eight pair hand, or like numbers with nines would have worked. If you have tiles at home, give this exercise a try, especially if you find that you second guess yourself during the Charleston. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.